Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to yet another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look, as we will probably for the next week or two or three, uh, those kind of stragglers from 2023 that are we're just getting to just reviewing here in early 2024. This month in, in January, generally speaking, that's what we're doing. We're playing catch up on the, the stuff from late in the year. This one, holy moly, five out of five star classic here. This is like one of the great unearthed recordings from the vaults that I've heard in a long time. I've only had it for about a week because it just came out. Man, it's unbelievably good. I'm talking about Trapeze, Lost Tapes, Volume 1 from uh, Metalville Records. Man, oh man, oh man, is this great. I can't begin to tell you how much I am enjoy I'm enjoying this. I am such a massive fan of Trapeze. Of course, Trapeze, Mel Galley, Glenn Hughes, Dave Holland early on. Of course, when Glenn goes and joins Deep Purple, Mel Galley continues on. He brings in another guitar player and brings in another bass player and eventually brings in Peter Golby on vocals. Of course, Peter Golby will go on to play uh, with Uriah Heep for a couple albums, starting with the Abominog album. Uh, Mel would do the vocals himself for a while, and he, you know, in between, and he sounds a lot like Glenn Hughes, so it's like the quality of the music and the, the way it sounds, very, very similar. Here you have recordings put together from Mel, the late Mel Galley's brother Tom. He found all these kind of tapes in trash cans and things, not really trash cans, but, you know, from in the vault, various places, uh, and was able to kind of, uh, you know, master these for consumption today. And uh, 14 tracks, all from throughout the career of, of Trapeze. <sighs> I can't begin to tell you how great this is. This is like getting a brand new Trapeze album that was, like, never released before. And what's really cool about this band that I always really like, if you listen to all of their albums regardless of kind of who's in the band it has a very very similar sound so that's kind of the same thing here uh so you get some tracks with the original and well, not the original because they were like a five piece originally six piece uh but then with the second album medusa they uh became a trio which was just basically hughes and galley and holland and you get some songs of, with that trio you get some stuff that they did like in the early 90s when they had like a brief reformation fiddle around the studio a little bit but didn't actually release an album you got some stuff recorded after glenn left where you got mel taking up the vocal helm you got some stuff with golby singing uh some stuff with golby and galley singing incredible stuff uh i'm gonna go through all the tracks here we got cool water which is uh, a really fun song with peter golby on lead vocals that's again if you don't know who trapeze are think uh you know early 70s heavy rock with a mix of lots of grooves and funk so very rhythmic stuff big huge guitar riffs and those great vocals right um cool water silly lyrics really fun song good rocker you got lover really really cool track again shows that kind of funk meets heavy rock thing that they were doing all the way back there very very cool stuff uh, i believe lover's got mel galley on vocals on that then you got breakdown which is a song they did in the 90s when they reformed holy hell is it heavy holy hell crunchy heavy hard rock killer vocals from glenn hughes on here oh amazing really good guitar playing from mel galley on this all there uh you've got don't let them push you which uh i believe has both mel and glenn on lead vocals i'm not 100 percent sure that's the thing and you know i will say uh as, as much as i absolutely love this big epic fail because in the booklet they list the songs they list all the different you know lineup configurations but they don't tell you who is playing on every track and which lineup is on which track epic fail you know again you, you give this information down here but you don't tell who's on each song on here i mean i have, I have to i have to go like find this in other places i'd scoured the internet looking for this and thankfully a few places kind of had this listed anyway don't let them push you great great rocker awesome song uh destiny uh another really cool track this is kind of kind of keyboardy glenn's vocals are great on that really catchy tune really like it a lot the lush production on it really really nice uh you've got uh, lights of tokyo which uh also i believe has mel galley on vocals also really good song kind of catchy so in love mel again on vocals this one's kind of funky kind of jazzy really dig that uh bad kid from school 
got Glenn on board on this one. This is, uh, can, tell, can tell it's like an older leftover track. Really good hard rocker. Excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, then you got Catching Up On You, which is cranking one of my favorite tunes on here. Uh, it's mostly instrumental. There are some vocals towards the middle. You wonder if originally it was supposed to be like an instrumental song. Um, but then they added some, some Glenn Hughes vocals to it. But man, it's so good. It sounds like it could have come off Medusa. Killer riffing. Great bass playing and drumming. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, then you got Do You Understand. Another great track. Glenn Hughes on vocals. Really good. Lots of great guitar work. Again, just a really good, memorable, catchy rock song with tons of groove. Excellent. Uh, Enough is Enough follows that. That one you can see coming into the late 70s. This uh, the, the tracks, <coughs> a couple of them from here on in remind me a little bit of like um, what you heard with a ladder, ladder period trapeze going into the 80s. And also, um, you know, not that different from what we were hearing from like Uriah Heep at the time. Here you got Peter Golby on vocals. Very similar. You know, big hooks. Big guitar riffing, loads of keyboards, really good enough is enough is great. Uh, you've got this, another really good one, great guitar work on that. Uh, Who Do You Run To? I sat there and I listened to this like four times in a row and I'm like, I know this song, I know this song. It's actually Who Do You Run To from the Hughes Thrall album. Why they recorded it, I have no idea, but it's with Peter Groby on vocals, Mel Galley on guitars, and I believe Dave Holland on drums, or actually, no, Dave Holland was in uh, Judas Priest at the time, so this is probably with, because um, it's late 70s, so that's probably with, uh, this is the Mel Galley, Steve Bray, Pete Wright, and Pete Golby lineup, which is really interesting, because, you know, the the uh, Hughes Thrall album came in 1882, right? So, and that was written by those two cats, so weird, and again, no information in here on when this was recorded at, or with who, so it's very confusing, but man, it's, so think of that song from the Hughes Thrall album, which is great, think of it here with these guys playing and singing it, and heavier, mind-blowing, I was just like, whoa, oh, oh, so good, um, and then you have Going Home, which is the last track, which is just a great grinding heavy bluesy rocker um, with Mel singing and uh, loads of dual guitar solo going on just really really cool stuff I mean this is just incredible absolutely incredible I can't recommend this highly enough Trapeze Lost Tames Lost Tapes Volume 1 get it at all costs if you're a Trapeze fan if you're a Glenn Hughes fan if you're a Mel Galley fan if you're a Pete Golby fan you need this in your collection. Check it out. This is on the web. Five out of five star. This is on the web at www.c. The, the only reason I would even hesitate to give it less is because, again, there's no information on anything in here, which just sucks because you got to go find it elsewhere. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. More reviews coming up today, hopefully. So see you then. Ko-Fi page. Cameo page. And our merch page listed down below. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.